Hey, what's up? So I'm actually just realizing that my home screen is pretty amusing right now. Um, yes, I have been working that steel casting malficia. I fused together that uh, last, or that fourth onion night refia that I pulled just the other day and made that beautiful STMR sword and have been running that guy through. And finally today, I, well, I shouldn't even say finally because it was really just the third time. Um, and I've had much worse luck before on certain, like Dynamo Dagger, man. I can't get anything good on that guy. But um, the sword, I finally got the rare on that today. Plus, I think a bonus 10% uh, attack, I think. Um, see, I can't even remember. But that's where I've been hanging out. And then who who is this Motley crew, you might ask? This uh, weird Esther... Jacked Ulbrich party. Well, this is not really a, a, a party that I run f for any reason, but this is so I set up Esther and Ulbrich side by side to maybe possibly take down that um, scorn of the something something. Remember when we had the trial revisit? Um, Machina of Destruction. So not scorn of the Machina of Destruction, I think just Machina of Destruction. So I set them up together because it was going to be like so cool. Um, maybe I'll publish that video at some point and you'll see if I, if I was cool or not, but that's what the two of them are doing there. Jack is there because I was gonna awaken him. So he's there. So like I can enhance, enhance him and then like awaken him eventually right now he's at five stars. Um, I was trying to like maybe put this Final Fantasy X party together to take on the, uh, who's that guy in the Vortex? Let's go look because I can't remember. Oh, um, the yeah, a difficulty 150 Xanark and Dome EXT level. But look, we only have one day uh, and four and a half hours until this event ends. So I'm not sure if I will get there, but that was the intention of him being there. And then what happened is that I went back today and I didn't want to miss out. I was really not having a lot of confidence in myself that I was going to get the... Um, world revisit quests done in time unless I just cracked down and did them. So today I was like, no, we're getting that done. We're making sure that happens. So I don't have to worry about it. I get all those rewards. And sadly enough, there were a few. Um, so, so Rama, Ra Ramu, Rama, uh, I still hadn't like, achieved like the, the three star on him. I know, super embarrassing, right? So not only did I get the four star ticket, from the world revisit but I got the four star ticket from doing it the first time so <sighs> because of my um terrible gameplay I'm actually swimming in resources right now because I was able to pick up so many goodies along the way so many so many battles that I like uh used lapis to continue <gasps> or had like a unit KO I was able to pick up a bunch of little 10 10 lapis uh, for all those all those achievements anyway that's what's going on why are we still talking about this? We want to talk about the news. The thing is, I guess why I'm still talking about this is that I saw the news uh, or the FFBE uh, official video uh, that was put out Sunday night. So I have a pretty good idea of what, what we're going to see. So I'm not expecting a lot of surprises, but you never know. There could be something else in there thrown in just for grins. So um, I'm going to go into this thinking like I know something and also um, tempering tempering my um know-it-all attitude um with a bit of a uh, this uh the, this knowledge that that gumi sometimes throws things throws curveballs they like to do that they think it's hilarious i'm sure okay let's go look oh i see so much full metal alchemist um and which is what i knew about issue report updated let's go there first um the appropriate rewards, along with compensation, have been distributed to the affected players. Am I affected? Am I infected? No, I'm not. But am I affected? Uh, updated. The issue happening with certain main story quest cutscenes looping, such as from Timos River Dungeon, has been resolved. Is that a spoiler? I don't know. However, we are aware that there's still some looping issues occurring for some other cutscenes in the main story quests. We will keep investigating the issue and are trying to resolve it as soon as possible. Thank you for your diligence and hard work. Thank you for playing Final Fantasy Brave Expedition. We are aware that uh, okay. that's just like the retro complaint or issue uh, report. Alright, scrolling down. Maintenance. Hey guys, there's going to be maintenance this week. 
Um, good news for you, and maybe this will show up in the news later, is that guess what's happening um, on the night of maintenance when you're all sad that you can't play FFB? Oh, that's right. War of the Visions is getting released, so um, be prepared for that. Um, you heard it here last. Uh, anyhow, uh, Wednesday, 325, expect that maintenance um, from 2100 hours on Wednesday night through Thursday. Uh, you know, well, Thursday, you, know, you never know what time it's going to be when it's over, but um, I always hope that maybe it's an hour late. I love, I love lapis, don't you? Um, anyhow, maintenance. Um, exchange shop. All right. Well, spoiler alert. Uh, Full, Ma Full Metal Alchemist has been announced to be the collab of the week. Um, if you're hearing it here, you are definitely, definitely, most definitely, most definitely living under a rock and hearing it here last. But Full Metal Alchemist, and, and you know, if you didn't know, that doesn't make you weird. Maybe you're an essential worker and you just have been really super, super busy and sleeping when you can. So I'm sorry for that comment about living under a rock. Shh. I'm zipping it. I'm zipping it. Um, anyhow, exchange shop is there. If you have a coin or a coin or coins, mostly coins to exchange because a lot of coins actually, uh, 160 coins. Well, we'll look at the, we'll look at it in a bit, but, um, if you want to get, uh, one of your guys, um, but here it is. That's all of the things you can get in the exchange shop. Um, let's go up a little bit and see. Okay, so this is the exchange shop for the other two characters. Of course, Full Metal Alchemist, as we'll learn in a second here, is going to come in two parts. So you will decide um, whether you will pull for them and whether you just are going to go ham and go crazy and go for all four of them. Or if you're going to wait and... Um, Wait for one, or, you know, pursue one banner in particular. Anyhow, Exchange Shop is there with details if you'd like to read that yourself. Ticket Exchange, we all know how this works. Um, you get that five-star USC ticket after doing 20k uh, lap, 25, sorry, uh, 25k lapis lap, which I don't know if you didn't, you know, if you saw my lapis up there, I meant 24,000 after that world revisit, but I don't think I'm going for this. So my lapis will stay just fine. Uh, but I know there's going to be a lot of you guys excited for this. And I'm excited for you. This is great. Um, anyhow, you will see either uh, Edward or Alphonse or Bradley or Mustang. Um, so anyhow, that's there. You know how those work. And uh, here's those banners. Just a glimpse of those banners. Now, I mentioned this. Um, I was talking to... Um, our friend in the comment and talking about these uh these step up summons that have two and maybe this is like maybe, why am i jumping the gun but maybe i should talk about this later when we show the step ups but i'll just say it now because i'm already i'm already speaking um my feeling when you're looking at step up summons like this which are limited to one they have the uoc at the end and you have two units on the banner um i think it would be perfectly fair to basically say okay X number of units on the banner. So in this case, two. We've got two units on on this first step up that we're looking at on the top. Um, why not be limiting this to two per player and basically saying you can only use that UOC ticket per unit one time? I think that would be absolutely fair. Um, I think it, it takes, you know, because it's a little bit problematic when you have uh, two units that you're going for. If you want both of these guys, um, when you're willing to spend 25k, why not? Um, I know this is better than a lot of the banners that we've had in the past. So maybe I'm just, um, speaking from greed, you know, gre greedyville. Um, I don't know, but that, that was just a thought I had. I think that that would have been uh, perfectly fair, especially if you're willing to spend the units or the resources, especially on a limited banner to get both units, um, let you spend 50k. Sure. If you're willing to do that, sure. Um, and then you get the one copy of each. As you notice, these step ups, do not provide you any coins. So the only way you can get the coins to get the prisms is from the, the 12K. So I just don't see, um, you know, why not give people the opportunity to get to get both if, if they want to, if this is their favorite thing in the world. So um, <sighs> take a breath, take a drink. Okay, introducing the five-star guaranteed 20% featured ticket for Edward and Alphonse. 
we already know, we've taught, we just, you know, we've seen this before. You need four of these five star 20% future tickets in order to, to perform one five star guaranteed ticket. Um, you can get these tickets from the Step Up Summon. So, I don't know. Am I eating my words? Wait, no. Uh, you can use four to perform. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not, yeah, it's not going to exchange it for the person. It's just going to give you a 20% chance of featured. So I'm not eating my words at all. I'm sticking to what I said. Um, so this is that Step Up Summon. If you want to, you know, get those tickets, they're going to show you how to use those tickets. That's what this news is about. Um, let's go back down. Introducing the five-star guaranteed 20% featured for King Bradley and Mustang. Okay, guess what? Hey, same as what we just looked at. Blah, 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 blah. Go read the details. If you notice something that I missed because I'm just fast forwarding through all of it and putting the uh, burden on you to do the actual reading, please let me know in the comments. All right, uh, next, celebrate Full Metal Alice. <laughs> Full, let's try that again. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood collaboration with seven awesome campaigns. All right. You've got me at awesome campaigns. All right, um, free daily 10 summon. Remember, we won this for our Defiance of Fate community challenge that you all carried me through that I, I didn't help at all with. Sorry. I mean, what do you want from me? I, I'm not going to be able to help on that. So um, here I am. I'm just here to, like, be a member of the community and, and you know, um, maybe make you laugh at the expense of um, my, my um, self-worth. But I'm not going to be able to help you in, in challenges like this. I'm going to reap the rewards for your hard efforts. Thank you, all you awesome, awesome, talented meta players. Sorry. Okay. Free Daily 10 Summon. From Thursday, 326. That's this Thursday. The day after War of the Visions is released. Um, through so don't forget don't don't get too caught up trying to learn more of the where are the visions that you forget to do the sweet free daily ten summon now could it be not sweet sure it could be absolutely unsweet um, I get unsweet iced tea all the time when I go out to lunch so um, unsweet is a thing it's true but um, you know you should still you should still try you never know what's gonna uh, show up um, it's limited to one ten summon per day. Only units added to the game up to and including, let's look at that fine print, March 26, 2020 will be included in the summer pool. Units from FMA Brotherhood will be included in the pool. So it's interesting that they, they mentioned March 26 because as we're going to find out, because I watched that uh, FFB uh, official video the second part of FMA uh, is going to come out on March 30th, which is Monday. So they're not only telling us that regularly, I guess they're saying certain units out of the game up until March 26th, so refined pool, I, guess, I suppose, will be included. But they're saying units from FME Brotherhood. So, I mean, they must be including all four, right? But how can, I mean, that, that's, that's kind of strange. It's a little problematic because... That banner for um, King Bradley and Mustang is not going to be released until Monday. So how's that going to work? I'm not sure. Um, I don't have the answers, but that's just something I'm throwing out there that, that's just like buzzing around in my head right now. Um, also, you get this, I guess, so that's the first campaign, even though this isn't really an FMA campaign. It's, it's, it's something we earned. You earned. You earned for me. Um, and everyone, and everyone, not just for me. FMA Brotherhood login bonus. Log in every day and receive amazing rewards. Like this girl here. Her name's Winry Rockbell. And she's a three-star unit. And she's going to uh, show up in your mailbox once per day. You're going to have to fuse her or not. Because um, sometimes limited time, three stars, you kind of want to keep them around. Because you're never going to get them again. Anyhow, that's up to you. Um, camp, you know, If you want to hoard a bunch of copies like I tend to do, hey, it's fun. Uh, whatever rocks you, uh, whatever floats your boat. Um, I was going to say rocks your world. Either way, those both work. Um, campaign period is this Thursday through start of means Wednesday for eight. So login bonus is going to get to four star Reza Hawkeye. Uh, day two. You read this. Looks like we get some lapos. I like lapos. Oh, guarantee uh, EX ticket. 10% trust Moogle times two. 
food and an STMR ticket uh, times five, and then, you know, EX7 tickets, you know, it is what it is. Oh, wait, what's this? FMA Brotherhood Mission Quest. Complete the quest to receive amazing rewards. All right, let's try. Uh, 326 through 48. Upon quest completion, players will receive FMA Brotherhood summon tickets that can be used for the FMA Brotherhood featured summon. What the what? Okay. Um, you can find the quests under the FMA Brotherhood Mission Quest tab from the quest icon on the home screen. Huh. All right. I need to know more about this. Um, all right. Vault of Hidden Treasures. Hey, that's back. It's available once a day. Don't be a dummy like me and forget. Man, um, even just like uh, the, the TV guy that we were talking about that we got for um, Killika Woods Exploration. What a dummy, man. I'm such a dummy. I, I, I know I read it. I read it in the news, you know, uh, whatever. I read it out loud. We all read it together. And But, you know, these things, they go in, you know, and, and then they, they, they fly out through the holes in my brain. So I don't know. Uh, what to tell you there but in my head I was just thinking like oh yeah it's an exploration so um I I was too busy grinding that King Mog because uh, I was so so behind on it that um I actually did a very terrible job and of uh ignoring Killika Woods and just just got on that yesterday so all that sad um loss of lapis and loss of you know blue ex tickets that, that might have got me lot of year or somebody like that um were were completely completely uh, abused they the opportunity was completely abused so anyway point being don't be like me remember uh do this kind of stuff every day all the hidden treasures get get some good stuff there um half energy we love to see half energy quests that's season one season two story quests not season three note that not season three will be included in this half energy campaign um, but, uh, this might be a time for me to finish the story. I don't know. It just depends how busy I am with everything else, but, um, love half energy. It's always fun. We've got this until 4-8 as well. Um, amazing enhancements, which is so, so awesome. Every time we see it, I'm always happy to see this guy because as y'all know, fusing is my, is my, uh, personal hell. And, um, this will this will help out immensely in getting those king capture pots. So they said seven campaigns. Um, I'm not going to go check, uh, but you, you can let me know if they were wrong um, in, in that number. Ability awakening update. We also heard about this. Um, we've got Yago, uh, Nagi, Crimson, so Lulu and Delulu, but um, you know, I don't know about them. But um, these guys are going to be av available for ability awakenings. We're going to have to look at these awakenings a little bit more carefully. I'm not going to do it for you. That's not my job. It's not what you come here for. So um, we'll just scroll down slowly through them. I would love, by the way, to see... Well, I'm not going to... I would love to see Crimson get um, get get some, some big, big love because... Um, and I mentioned this in the Discord, but like he... Uh, he was holding down the fort for 700 years. I mean, give or take a few, because who knows exactly when those guys got out of Dodge, but, um, he was holding down the fort for a long time. And I kind of think that like, we, we should, he should, you know, we should see him. We should see him at his finest. So that's all, that's all I'll say about that. But, um, we'll have to check these out and have somebody, uh, Somebody who uh, who likes to go over units uh, tell us all uh, what we should think about that. Um, but if you love them, do what you want. Okay. Uh, story continues. Hey, there you go. Third season, chapter two, part one. All right. So now that I see this, it's giving me even more encouragement to go in and finish uh, the uh, season two because I like a little bit of a buffer. It makes me feel safe. So... If I can finish season two and know that now there's now chapter uh, there are two you know, two two full chapters, we're now in part one of chapter two, then I'll feel like I have a little bit of buffer if I need it. So um, this is great to see. I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna scroll down uh, and just note that Kokurio, Kokurio, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> three Esper 
uh, three star Esper has been unlocked. So, um, yeah, okay. Uh, he deals water damage, kind of like um, Leviathan, right? Okay, anyhow, I don't want to look at the, the details there. Okay, this is the one tried to pop up because uh, it, it wanted to spoil things, but jokes on you, I already watched the uh, video, so I knew Full Metal Alchemist was coming our way. I also couldn't see it because the internet is so freaking slow because everyone in the neighborhood is streaming Netflix, so. Um, there's that. Uh, no bandwidth. Band I mean, we're, I mean it's, we're gonna have a bandwidth crisis in our hands. I shouldn't say this. I'm, I'm sorry. Was that fear-mongering? I do not mean to do that. Um, we can obtain a five-star Silic Summon ticket from what this will be, which is a raid, which I absolutely, absolutely need right now. Ugh. I just did not get enough out of the last raid because... Uh, you know, my head was spinning off that whole uh, last week uh, of that raid and, and everything. That's why I was so behind on the King Mong. Because I was just like absorbing everything and, and, and getting getting all my ducks in a row. Um, not hoarding. Not hoarding. Um, but anyhow, I'm happy to see a raid. I need a raid. Um, and this will be a collab raid. The first homunculus. You guys like how I say that? Um, let me know. Collect event points to obtain completion rewards. Man, I am on a roll tonight. I guess hap happy hour started early. Um, what can I say? Um, I like this little s squiggle here. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like an art class when they want you to draw a squiggle and then be like, what could this squiggle be? Like make a face in it. That's what it looks like going on with these eyes and, and mouths. Um, and, and that creepy guy, that creepy kid. Um, so I have not watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, I'm not, I'm not against watching it. I've just not had a lot of time to devote to entertainment. So that's where I'm coming from. And probably, as you can tell, I'm very slow on things. So <sighs> I'm sorry for mentioning all of that. Um, let's move on. Event period. 4-8. Seems like there's a lot of things going on until 4-8. Raid box summon period will be until Wednesday 415 which will bring me you know at the end of this video to to what I like to, to say is my, my PSAs for um, what's what's going away and what you can expect okay so pride appears in the dimensional vortex damage pride oh that sounds so sad um, to obtain event points and raid coins individual rewards will be based on the event points you collect then perform raid box summons and don't be like me get past the third box. This is the first time I, I was, you know, since we had the new raid box summon that like I was, I was so pathetically behind. I only got like midway through, um, through the third box. It was so, so sad, but let's get farther. Let's go get those, 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 um, minotaurs and, and, and those uh, gill snappers. As you can see, I got to get my gill back. I know there was, you know, I'm my, my past self would be slapping myself in the face right now for saying that because 15 million, uh, even just a few months ago, would have been would have been lovely um but hey i got up to like 30 about 30 million so um uh i i'm feeling you know i'm feeling a little scared right now um i'm sorry uh but you know it's all relative right okay um get those rank coins and then craft these things if you want them sorry stop getting blurry i think this um was it the alchemist watch I think the Alchemist watch was kind of interesting because it's always nice um, if you can nullify stone. Like if you have a, a unit that like that's the only thing that they don't cover on their own, um, and you you know want to just throw something on to kind of take care of that, that's all right. And the Alphonse doll as well, um, which is really cute with that little cat in the middle, um, and that Earth and Lightning resistance by thirty percent is very very helpful. But the rest of this. I don't see as being, you know, uh, something you really have to worry about. Um, but we know how raids work. You go in there, um, you can get that five-star select summon ticket and and love your life for it. Ooh, what does it say back here? Players will receive extra raid coins when bringing Edward Elric. Um, I'll say they give you the percentage there on what his, his seven-star or his five-to-six-star will give you. Um, Alfonso, same thing. So Roy or, you know, uh, King Bradley. So any, anyhow, they're going to break this down. Go look at that if you're interested. Um, I don't like to read the fight and print for you. Y'all can do that. And if you if you can't read, I apologize again. I've said this before. Get somebody to read it for you. 
Um, it's not gonna be me. Um, but you can also get extra raid coins by bringing Yuna, Final Fantasy X-2, um, Riku or Pain from the same game, as well as Star Player Titus, Unaleska, Kimari, uh, so everyone, really, uh, and Saru. So with our 7-star Kimari, we're going to get a um, 40% raid uh, coin bonus, so I'll take it. Um, I really like this change. I, I've always felt that there you know, should be some way to not just get a standard amount of raid coins. I know it's based on your damage, um, but it's nice um, that you can still you can affect it with the units that you bring as well. Uh, especially because those raids uh, do tend to be like I've been cheesing them with my with my CG Terra, so um, it does make it a little bit more difficult when you have to put together um, a party so you can get as much bonus as you possibly can. Anyhow, these things will be in that raid box summon, that five series EX, that five star select summon ticket, crafting recipes, etc., etc. All right, uh, featured summon Full Metal Alch Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, there they are. This is gonna be round one. Fight, uh, Elric, Edward Elric, Alphonse Elric, brothers, um, so I've heard, uh, Riza Hawkeye, and Rinri Wakbell. Okay, so they're gonna be here March 26th. Here's their summon. We kinda already went over this. Don't forget those, uh, those max stars, uh, those 10 max stars on step two. My favorite, uh, prize, and... On step three, we get a rainbow. Step four, um, that ticket that yeah, doesn't really do anything good for me so much. But um, uh, on step five, it will jump to a 2% on banner uh, rainbow, um, as well as you get that five star UOC for either of those guys. Um, now, important to note that on this step up summon, this 12K, which we've seen before, the um, trade-in amount now for the prism is 80 coins, not 40. Before we were seeing 40, which I thought was really, really awesome because you could go a whole step and have enough coins to get the prism. Not so in this case. You would have to do it twice, which is 24K for a prism. So keep that in mind. Um, don't think it's like the, the previous 12K step up winner. You can do this eight times on step three, you will get that 2% um, on banner rate. But um, also note that that does not apply to the guaranteed rainbow. So this is all um, uh, stuff that I learned in the video, which I'm just happy to share. I know it's in the, in the fine part as well. Um, but just something I wanted to mention. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, here's uh, the characters. Edric Elric, he is going to be your damage dealer, your debuffer. It's going to be Stardust Ray chaining, um, dual wield unit. Uh, so here we have his STMR. I guess I should put him in the picture because that's really what you want to see. Um, is knowledge of the truth, boost attack and defense by 50%, fire, water, wind, and earth by 60%. So that's that's pretty um pretty hefty percentages on that resistance as well as as great attack and defense boost why am i just reiterating what i just read i don't know his tmr is edward's cloak attack 28 defense 42 spirit 32 activate the f i really want to read this as flannel because it just makes me happy but it's not it's flannel um and it's only for him so also think about that. Um, boost fire, water, wind, and earth by 20%. So between his cloak and his STMR, geez, that's 80% on those elements. That's pretty, pretty stellar. So um, if, if you have this unit and you're going to use the cloak on him, because again, you can't, that you're not going to get those uh, elemental boosts if you use it on anybody else. Um, anyhow, Hard, hard really to talk about his kit um, without seeing it in full, and I don't do that anyway, that's not my job. Um, but uh, uh, Shally was saying that he will not only imbue, imbue, sorry, imbue fire, water, earth, and wind, he will boost the resistance for all allies, and I should put him back in the picture, um, to those elements, as well as imperil those same elements. Um, in, in the guy that, that you're fighting, or guys. I don't know, I shouldn't say that because I don't know if it's one a single target or um, an AOE, so strike that. Um, just go, just go, you know, listen to somebody knowledgeable um, talk about these units, not me. 
Um, anyhow, and then next we have Alphonse Elric. So he's basically um, who you might imagine as just your your physical tank, your provoked tank. Uh, lots, lots of opportunity to throw on barrier um, and bear multiple barriers. I'm not even sure how that goes. Um, really has like a great capacity for for hit points and um, you know he'll reduce damage taken, things like that. Um, his damage will be defense scaling, which is which is great because obviously for for your physical tank you're going to be building up his defense numbers anyhow. Um, but also Stardust Ray Chaining and um, with some great synergy with his uh, with his good old brother Edward Elric. So um, we, I always like, oh no, go back. I always like to see things like that because uh, it makes me happy when people are crafted that way. Um, but his STMR is Alphonse's shoulder plate. Put you back in the picture, my friend. Um, defense plus sixty is an accessory. Spirit plus sixty activate big cat lover. Uh, so it's just watching that, uh, Tiger King. Um, okay. Don't get distracted, but big cat lover, fill LB gauge every turn. All right. And doesn't seem like it's exclusive to him. So anybody can use that. We'll have to see how um, much he's filling the LB gauge, but those stats on spirit and defense are absolutely impressive for an accessory. Uh, his TMR is, oh, get back in the philosopher stone seeker. Material which will boost attack and defense by 40% and restore HP and MP every turn. Alright, so not as exciting, but, um, you know, hey, who knows? Depending on how much he's restoring HP and MP, it could be uh, even even more fancy. So, um, basically what we know about this guy is that um, he, he will tank it up for you um, if that's what you want. Okay, Reza Hawkeye. Um, he's going to be your four star. Uh, you can look at all this, his TMR, the Hawk's Eye, which makes sense. A boost MP by uh, 25% and boost attack by 40% when equipped with gun. So I've got a lot of gun users. Um, this could be helpful, but I've got a lot of uh, stuff that supports gun users. So it depends on how much you have. Are you like me? Or are you not like me? I don't know. Mm. Winry Rockbell. She's going to be the person that we keep getting a bunch of free versions of her. She's going to give us an accessory called Winry's Wrench. Um, oh, so that sucks, man. Okay, so Winry's Wrench is attack plus 18, defense plus 20. I guess if you're new and you're getting a bunch of this this new girl, that's fantastic. But it seems like we're going to get like a bunch of her. And um, I don't, uh, I'm not getting super, super excited about having like a bunch of this TMR. But hey, whatever. Free is free. I will take free. And and who knows? Like maybe once you fully uh, fully enhance her to her five star form, she'll she'll do crazy things for you. I don't know. Um, so fine print says these units will be added to the X and ten plus one summon ticket pools without any increase in drop rates. Um, only for the first week of this event, um, which I'm supposing when when round two comes, fight um, that they will also get a full week of it. Anyhow, uh, and the five star units introduced in the first homunculus event will not have their presence added to the select summon pool when the summon is released because they are limited. King Bradley and Roy Mustang are not included in the Edward Elric Alphonse Elric step up summon, ugh, step up summon or her feature summon pool. So, you're not going to get um, them on this, on their banner, or vice versa. All right, and then we're going to see uh, the next group, which is King Bradley and and your man, Roy Mustang, um, who are also going to be flanked by Riza Haka and, and Remy Walkbell. So lots of opportunity to get those two fools. Sorry, they're not fools. They're, they're great. I'm Stop it. Um same thing, nothing much to say about these step ups except for the same things that uh, we noted before. So, this will be starting on a Monday, um, March 30th. So, uh, don't let that catch you off guard. And you'll have a chance at King Bradley, um, who is a new ally, a global original. We always love seeing a global original, don't we? Um, unless it's sharing a banner with somebody that we really like, right? Um, just kidding. Um, or not. But well, I don't, you know, I didn't watch this, but I know people are excited. Okay, so um, King Bradley is a physical chainer. He also deals uh, Stardust Ray Chaining. 
damage, and he will imbue lightning. Uh, he has innate evasion. He evades physical attacks uh, like 10 times, like with his max ability or something ridiculous like that. Shelly was talking all about it. Um, again, let's wait until the details come out and you can talk about and think about this guy uh, in, in, in more intelligent terms than what I can provide. But Super Trustmaster reward will be the Sword of Wrath. It's a sword. Uh, attack 176, activate Wrathful Soul. Boost attack and defense by 30%. Nice. Uh, oh, let's get back in here. King Bradley's eye patch. You can see he's wearing it in this picture. Um, it's uh, attack 45. It's a hat. Now, I'm a little bit nervous about you putting an eye patch on an eye, uh, another unit. I think that it's important to note that eye patches should not be shared. It just as eye drops should not be shared. Um, we need to be careful, especially in this day and age, as, as far as the droplets. Um, but even outside of that, um, eye patches should not be shared. So um, if you want to share it, that's on you. Um, I, I hope your character's cool with it. But his TMR, attack 45 on that hat, um, that eye patch. The, um, activate King Bradley's eye patch, which is a chance of evading some physical attacks. All right. We'll have to see how the percentage on that is. And um, that's that's always great to, to see as long as you're willing to take the risk of sharing um, something that touched somebody else's eye. Uh, so he's there for you. I think this is what I was talking about. The Ouroboros of Wrath. Consume own HP to deal. So one use every five turns, and then you can use it up to two times. But you can consume your own hit points to deal damage and partial unmitigated damage to all enemies. And the caster can evade some physical attacks ten times and add a chance of countering and receiving a physical attack. So that's there. It seems kind of cool. It also seems like, you know, yeah, we'll see. Um, but uh, that's that. Uh, he's new. He's Glex. Uh, this guy, uh, Roy Mustang, he got a global upgrade. Uh, first of the uh, FMA units to get that. I know I'm kind of all over the place here and not doing everything in order. This time I'm going to talk about the STMR and the TMR first because I want to. His not for I don't even really want to. I'm just I'm just doing it. Um, Ishval's hero. It's materia boost magic by sixty percent and fire resistance by eighty percent, and boost magic damage against demons. So lots going on there for your mage. This this is great, especially if you're fighting a demon. Uh, who is wanting to do fire damage on you. So um, definitely uh, definitely something to be excited to have if you have access to it um, in its niche for sure. Um, but uh, other than that, we have his TMR. Oh, get back in here. Um, Roy's Pyrotex gloves. Um, don't worry, he didn't take them from the hospitals. Um, they have what they need or they're going to get what they need. Um, but hey, these are magic gloves. These are not, these are not hospital gloves. Magic plus 52, activate keep dry, or I must only, which boosts magic by 20% and fire resistance by 30%. So if you aren't putting them on him, you're just going to get that raw stat in your accessory of magic plus 52. Um, and there are other things that give you a little bit more, um, as far as a raw stat and a percentage, but 52 is not shabby. Um, no, stop, why it gets so blurry? Um, he's got abilities as well. In fact, one of them was globally upgraded, and that is Turn to Ash, a seven star uh, cooldown move, which you can use once every four turns. It reduces the fire resistance for all enemies and boosts own magic, fills his LB gauge, and boosts damage of certain abilities for himself. So, um, this is a mage, uh, Shally was talking about who is really like, geared around fire magic damage. Um, he can pentacast, but it's more like Siege and Octus or Regina, where you're picking specific uh, moves, like within those five moves, to kind of like boost him up and like do do this, do that. Um, you're not just like firing off five, uh, you know, uh, uh, fire damage skills. So that's pretty cool still though. Um, and as you can see, and go down. Um, we already know about these guys. I don't know why they're back in here um, showing off. But that's them. Um, same kind of a thing. They just show up. Oh, I do want to, I want to look at that real quick. And see if there's anything different about the date in which they show up. No. So this is exactly... Um, 
Okay, okay, it does, it is specific. These units will be added to the EX and ten plus one summon ticket pools um, Monday three thirty. So they're gonna show up then, and they'll be there until start maintenance for one. All right, um, they will not have their yeah 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 we know because they're time limited, um, and yeah, just the same thing as they were saying before. You can't get the part one units in the part two summon and vice versa. Um, hmm. So we did it. We got through all that. All right. So other than that, um, just as my few PSAs, the Magical March uh, tickets, aka March Madness. Are we so bad saying it? But I just can't help it. Um, those are going to be done. Uh, this, uh, you know, was maintenance. Um, so if you still have some of those guys hanging around, use them. Um, also, if you still have any raid currency left from the Lady Lilith event, go use it up because that's going to be gone. Um, the redemption for that. Uh, Xanark and Dome will be done as well, as well as the auxiliary quests that go along with that. So that's all going to be gone, um, start of maintenance, but you will still have a, a little bit of extra time in that shop, uh, the King Mog shop, to go buy things um, with all the currency that you have accrued. So you'll get that for a little bit as well. Um, I'm not going to go over everything that expires for one, um, but I do want you to keep in mind that the World Revisit quests will finish for one April 1st April Fool's Day ha ah, you didn't get the lapis sucks for you um, so uh, do what I did and, and go get that taken care of so you don't have to worry about it anymore you don't want to worry about missing out on it um, anyhow look up some of that stuff uh, if you just want to make sure um, you, you, were, you know oh um, Steel Castle Malfica that'll also be gone uh, maintenance so Last chance to, to run those those things through. If if you're like me and you're not cool enough to have a Dell's gun yet, um, you'll have to wait till next uh, item world. But uh, run that stuff through and hope you get. Hopefully you guys get some rares. Um, I wish all the best on that for you. All the best luck, and um, hope everyone's doing well and staying healthy and and taking this isolation. Um, you know, making the best out of it as much as you can. I mean, obviously it's really hard, especially if you have people that you're worried about or, you know, in your family or you're worried about your own health. I get that. But, um, let's all just try and, uh, sit tight and, and stay healthy. And I do, I do wish you all the best. So, all right. Um, I'm going to go grind, grind for years and I'm not staying up until midnight for War of the Visions because I just can't. I'm so exhausted. I'm falling asleep at the end of the day. Um, but I can't wait to learn a little bit about it tomorrow um, and, and probably like do some embarrassingly dumb uh, things when I, when I first start the game. But um, I would love I would love to cover it a little bit. So I probably will try to do that um, once I figure out what the heck I'm doing. Or maybe I'll just try to cover it while I don't know what the heck I'm doing because you all seem to be super patient with me. So jokes on you. I'm going to I'm going to really uh, try and try and abuse that patience um so we'll see and and my plan i would love if i can figure it the heck out uh to, to make a clan for any of you that, that want to join i'm kind of leaning towards horn I, I really like that family um uh, but we'll see anyway this is not anyhow this is not about war of the visions this is about fab so i am signing off on that if you want to talk about war of the visions or anything else you know where to find me, um, but uh, or maybe you don't. But you know, links in the comments. I'm not gonna talk about it. It's just I hate it. I hate it. I'm not I've never been a saleswoman. I, I don't like it one bit. So, oh man, I'm sorry. There's a couple things that I meant to mention. Um, so, a couple things I saw in the in the in the video that were not in uh, today's news um, include the fact that uh, expert missions are showing up. Um, apparently, April 16th. Um, and expert missions are basically like a tally of how many seven stars you've created. Um, and of course, like retroactively, um, all the seven stars you have created will, will count towards the expert missions. So, uh, the rumor I last heard, or the last thing I heard about expert missions is like the top, the, the highest you could go is like a hundred. Um, I think a lot of us have well over a hundred, uh, by now. Maybe that sounds super bourgeois to, um, to say, but, um, you know, Hey, some of us have been around for a while, but um, that's something that you can look forward to. Uh, I don't know what the rewards are going to be on that, um, if they're going to be different from the JP side or not, so I can't speak on that, but 
those are showing up. Um, they also, uh, the, the producers had like a, a Q. So in that Q&A, uh, they also addressed uh, the change, Chamber of the Vengeful. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we've had uh, somebody new there. But they said, hey, we've done the trial of fate. Um, it took up our development resources. People seem to like it. So uh, we, are, we are working on a variety of content to, um, to please everyone. Uh, again, they mentioned that they've got a bunch of campaigns going. Um, going to look into another mission reset, I suppose, in, in March. Um, unless they were talking about the one that we're on. Um, and then in April, expect those expert missions. Uh, expect Chamber of the Indignant with Scorn of the Venomous Vines. Ooh. Uh, Dark Visions. Uh, the Chamber of Indignant with Scorn of the Mad Doll. And yeah, they say again, mission reset. Um, and then they mentioned these like super secret collabs. Um, I don't know what to make of that. Uh, in, in just the comments today, I was kind of musing that I wondered if um, Advent Children Cloud might be released when um, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is released April 10th. So um, that was just something like, are they going to try and piece those, you know, put those two together? Because that's, you know, a good time to do that. But I don't know. They mentioned super secret collapse. And there's a couple things, of course, you know, that come to mind. We have several collabs that I've been uh, told are, are you know, really behind schedule on, on getting those collabs. And then there's also, okay, well, what if they did a special secret collab with, with Final Fantasy VII Remake? Um, I know we do have uh, Advent Children Cloud on, on the horizon. Um, I guess it could be with other characters, but I don't know why you would do that with other characters. It seems like Cloud is, is who most people who love that game want. Um, not so much me. Uh, shh, whatever. Um, but, um, there's that. There's also this, this idea of the War of the Visions collab. Um, so we'll have to see, uh, what they meant when they were talking about those collabs. But they were being so weird about it, and... It'll be fun uh, to, to, to eventually find out. And then they also mentioned May because they wanted to give us this nice roadmap. I don't know why they're, they're being so generous, but May, uh, Chamber of the Vengeance um, and Chamber of the Fallen should see should see a, a new entry. Uh, and we're going to get this like rain of a 10,000 needles bad guy. It's probably going to be like that Cactar guy that's going to ruin our lives um mission reset as well and then support for thai and indonesian languages which i was kind of thinking they always seem to give out nice rewards when when they do uh one of those things like uh, put out oops where are we going Jornado? Ah, get out of here um when they put out one of those new language releases so why are we still here go back oh thank you so uh that as well as everything else that we're looking forward to with amazing enhancements, half energy um, should make for uh, a fun next couple of months. And somewhere in there is going to be Easter, right? So seems like we have a lot to look forward to um, as far as playing World of Vision. So it's going to be pretty busy uh, everywhere you look. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, there's so much that we packed in here and probably so much that you already knew about. So you probably turned this video off like, I don't know, 35 minutes ago. But anyway, let me know how you feel. Uh, I'm, I'm trying so hard to wrap this up. Um, and... I will just say, um, if you get a chance, call call um, call the old folks in your lives. Um, I called my parents. I talked to my mom, my dad, talked to my sister, and that was great. Um, great, great time to uh, to just uh, hear their voices and and be like, wow, things are weird right now, right? Yeah, right. So um, it was pretty much just like a you know patting each other on the back. So it was good. Um, but I hope you're all doing well and are able to talk to those people and staying healthy and all that. So, hey, um, as usual, um, yeah, cheers. <laughs>